a seven and a quarter inch gauge Sweet William steam locomotive, part 73. Silver soldering the support bracket to the water bypass return pipe. Getting ready to seal the tank by checking that I have sufficient 5BA bolts. Fitting the water outlets to the central block. This job has been interesting and quite difficult in places at the same time. This episode features some very simple jobs which makes a change. I was going to use some stainless steel 2BA bolts with large heads to bolt the tank to the support bracket, but unfortunately I only had two of these stainless steel bolts. Thankfully I do have plenty of non-stainless steel bolts in this size. Besides, stainless steel is just an option I don't need here. The ordinary bolts will go into the block, they do not go all the way through into the water space. This is the bracket that I made, which supports the water bypass pipe. It's quite substantial, and it's not really holding any weight, but at no time do I ever want this to fracture, because to get at it would mean taking the bottom of the tank off. You may be wondering what the duct tape residue is all about. Well, at some stage, this part has been held in place by duct tape, but not anymore. Moving into the outer part of the workshop, I'm on the brazing hearth, using a very useful tool, it's a portable vice, and I've likely clamped the pipe in the vice, so I can dangle the fitting on the pipe. I'd previously marked the position for the bracket on the pipe, using a felt tip pen, and here you see the marks. All I need to do is position the bracket between the two black lines, and then silver solder it in place. I applied some Easy Flow number 2 flux and heated the part to the correct temperature until the silver solder flowed around the joint, and here it is cooling. I quenched the pipe and bracket in some water, and now I'm back in the main workshop using my vacuum cleaner to vacuum up all the brass chippings around the area from the drilling operations. It's always important to do this, try and keep the workbench at least clean, I don't say tidy because my workbench is never tidy, but try and keep it clean because these chippings will stick in your fingers and then you spend the evening digging the chippings out of your fingers using nail clippers. Well, that's what I usually do anyway. In this close-up, I'm showing the fitting of the bracket onto two of the 5BA bolts. I made a good job of this bracket. It's a perfect fit on the bolts, as you can see. I didn't want to disturb the existing 5BA bolts, and luckily I didn't need to because they were long enough to allow me to fit a nut on the existing thread. I fitted the nuts in three stages, first of all with my fingers, followed by a nut spinner, and then finally to tighten them up I used a small spanner. Nothing really to note here other than when working with small fittings, do not over tighten them. Really they are tight enough with the nut spinner, but to make sure that they never work loose because once the tank is sealed it's going to be quite difficult to refit this part. And that's why I'm tightening the nuts using a small spanner. And as I've just mentioned, be very careful when tightening small fixings. They will shear off quite easily if you over tighten them. At this stage I haven't tightened the union nut on the pipe at the other end because before fitting these parts I need to coat them in sealant and shorten the bolts that hold them in place underneath the tank. Before I finally seal the tank I will be fitting it to the engine one more time just to make sure it fits OK and to also make sure that the mounting bolts align perfectly with the mounting bracket. Once I can successfully and easily bolt the tank in place and remove it, I will remove it and then fit the ceiling panel. And here it is. This is going to be fun. I think I'll be using a lot of silicone rubber sealant on this job. This stuff is called Bondlock 542, and it's a different variation of Loctite 542 from another company. It's cheaper and it works, but old habits die hard, so I still buy Loctite 542. What I'm about to do is fit the water outlet unions to the gunmetal block on the water outlet pipe. I don't need to use washers for this. These parts will screw in with some Loctite 542 because they're not under any pressure other than 14 pounds per square inch. 
and in case you don't know what that is, it's atmospheric pressure. I'll leave the job with this two foot rule sat in position and as you can see everything is very level and in the right place. I've ordered a 90 degree globe valve as the water drain for the front of the block which is currently covered by the rule and when it arrives anytime soon I will fit that in place. That's it for this episode, short and sweet. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.